everybody, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So, last time we cleared all the Organization 13 Mushroom Challenges. That was a pain in the butt. But we got our first crown, as we can see here. It looks so good on us. And we got the Winner's Proof Keyblade. Today, we're going to take on 13 of the remaining uh, 15 bonus bosses that are in the game. We're taking on the Data Organization, so we're going off to the Postern, and we've already cleared the Cavern of Remembrance, which means we can just go on ahead back to the Restoration Site, and take the shortcut right to the Garden of Assemblage in order to start. Whoosh! Aw, yeah. So, the Data Organization, as I mentioned very briefly when I did the Cavern of Remembrance bonus video, this is where we fight all 13 members of Organization 13 again, including the absent silhouettes that were from Chain of Memories. Except, all of them basically now have maxed out HP and are capable of killing us in one or two hits, provided you're playing on critical mode. On top of which, several of these will also have, uh... Several of these fights will also have some extra gimmicks to them, or various other things to make them harder. So, good luck with that. So before we go in, let's take a look at our abilities. So we've got all of these. No aerial sweep, no aerial vibe, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to... Actually, who am I I'll, I'll equip the combo pluses, and I'll take them off if I need to. Uh, magic lock on, no. That looks pretty good. And do I have the right equipment? Ultimate weapon is my main keyblade, decisive pumpkin is valor form, hero's crest for master form, bond of flame for final form. That looks pretty good, and I've got grand ribbon, petite ribbon, regular ribbon, and cosmic belt. Looks pretty good. Aha! Yep, we're putting full bloom plus back on. I also have way more ethers than I know what to do with. Excellent. So, I was thinking about what order to do the data organization in, and I think that a good way is just start with the highest, or start with the lowest ranking member of the organization and work our way to number one. So, we're basically going to start with number 13, then number 12, then number 11, and then go all the way up to number one, which is Xemnas. So, for the first fight, we have to fight organization number 13, member number 13, which is Roxas. And depending on who you ask, Roxas is either like one of the toughest of the data org fights or one of the easier ones. I'm not going to say which one I think it is right now because I will probably end up eating my words. Battle Roxas again, but be warned, he's stronger than before. I'm ready for a fight. So I remember that fight we had with Roxas in the world that never was, now we get to fight him again. But the fight is largely the same. Reflect his attacks. Ooh, Roxas, you're not as powerful as I remember you being. <laughs> I made him lose balance. Maybe we'll encounter the reaction command in this fight that we missed last time. Or we can steal his keyblades. Okay, so he's going desperation move already. This one is harder to dodge. The light beams are faster, but thankfully we've got Super Glide! And by that I mean Glide level 3. Do that and we can avoid his stuff. Honestly, for this fight, Repl does the way to go. Now we're gonna go limit form. Alright, strike rate timer. Uh-oh. This is bad. If this happens when you're in a limit form, you get a dodge roll through them all, which is harder than super gliding around them. That's bad, alright. <laughs> so this is... This is... In, in some ways it's uh, it's definitely harder than the regular Roxas fight, but because we have Combo Master now, that actually makes the fight easier in some ways. Alright, let's try that again. I'm fully expecting deaths against every Data Org member, because they're, they're tough. Ouch. Did not get the Reflect off fast enough. This is it. Take that. This is it. 
This is a pretty good pattern to get him in. Thank goodness limit form exists, though. Here's the reaction command. So, basically how it works is one of the four slots in the command menu will become the end. You gotta select that and you'll steal his Keyblades. If you steal his Keyblades, it's really cool and you do extra damage, but it also means he'll go more aggressive with the Light Beams. Pause buffering makes it a lot easier to uh, do that because, well, you gotta be real fast. So we're attacking him from main Keyblade and then we're summoning his Oath Keeper and Oblivion Keyblades to strike him as well. Ouch. Oh, fun. He's doing this again. Darn it. I got too greedy with the combos. I should have healed. I'm glad I at least got to show off the reaction command for stealing his keyblades, because that's really random whether or not that shows up at all. Roxas is definitely not an easy fight. Although, it is nice because his fight is largely unchanged from the original fight. Whereas there's several Data Org members where there's a lot of differences. <laughs> Also, Roxas, why weren't you anywhere close to being this good when I played as you in the prologue? So close. Take that. Alright, that actually wasn't as hard as I was expecting. That's Data Roxas. And then he just shrugs it off and then disappears. Because he's just Data. And we get a magic boost for beating Roxas, Data Roxas. Every time you defeat Data Roxas, because you can fight him as many times as you like, you will get a magic boost for it. So if you really want to max out your magic stat, that's a decent way of doing it. Giving it to Sora, obviously. Another thing I recommend doing is leaving the room and then coming back every time you beat a member. That way it'll save your progress and you can change your equipment if you desire. So yeah, Data Roxas, he's, he's a reasonably tough fight for sure. And if you're not good with Refuga or Limit Form, you're probably going to die to him a lot. Once you kind of get his pattern down of attacks so you can time your ruffle guys and, you know, the power of strike rate, he's actually not too bad. As far as the data or fights go, I'd probably put him around the middle, maybe a little bit on the easier side, because some of these data fights are just a huge pain. And yeah, that's Data Roxas. Uh...